Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another new product opening of the day. This actually did come out on Wednesday, but unfortunately the mail with this product from FedEx didn't come until yesterday. So we do have them today on Friday and they are already on the website for personal breaks, etc. We do have the Umbrella Academy Season 1 trading cards from Rittenhouse. Now this product, if you see in Rittenhouse products, it does let you know. There are only 3,000 uh, actual hobby boxes of this made. So kind of a low print run if we're thinking about it. So only 3,000 boxes out there, and we do have uh, just a few, and we do have already some scheduled for personal breaks. So if you enjoy this opening, there's one more coming out after this one, and then also some this Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m. We have a couple for live breaks then as well. And I have not personally watched this show, but I was looking into it this morning, reading up on it a little bit. It does seem like a really cool premise. Now, it was originally a comic book written by Gerard Way, which is the... Uh, guy from My Chemical Romance, if you did not know, and I believe there was somebody else too, but the name that stuck out to me was Gerard Way, and uh, they're like a family of adopted superheroes that were all born at the same time, all have different powers, and they come back together later on in life to solve a, uh, you know, a global crisis, so, like I said, have not watched it, that was what I interpreted, the gist of it, I don't have Netflix, so. I don't watch a lot of TV, but it does seem cool, and you do get two hits per box in here. There are 24 packs, two hits per box, one auto and one other hit, so it could be another auto, could be a sketch, maybe if there's premium inserts, but let's get on into it. Like I said, first one up is for us, second one is a personal break. So anything you see in this opening here, uh, if I have time, I will get that listed later today on our eBay store, which is linked down below. But otherwise, it should be sometime next week. But if you ever if you ever have questions on anything we open up for us, not not for a personal break, but once for us, you can always leave a comment or send us a message on the website. I can try and help you out with that. But let's get into this box because I'm excited to see what these cards look like by snapping ourselves into the corner and let's get started. Like I said, actually pretty small print run, so hopefully we get decent hits or maybe we'll even get bonuses sometimes. If the print run is so small, they have extra hits, so they just put extra hits in the box. That has happened with some Star Wars products before, with uh, parallels and whatnot. So we'll see what we get here. This is number 1639 of 3000. Let's get started. Not sure why it's called the Umbrella Academy. I didn't see anything about umbrellas. Saw stuff about time travel. Not umbrellas. So if you could clue me in in the comments, I'd appreciate it. There's the half monkey dude that used to live on the moon that uh, Wikipedia told me about. One of the family members. And then these cards do have text on the back about the scenes and whatnot. Well, that's cool. What is this? This is some sort of insert. It's glossy on the frame and then matte on the center of the card. This is Umbrella Academy, heist at the museum. And then the robbers went to jail and the whole city, they threw, a very threw us a very fancy party for saving the day. Oh, I guess when they were kids as superheroes. Superheroes as kids. That's cool, I'm gonna sleeve that up. Just cause off the top of my head, I don't know how rare this insert is. But it is it is feeling really cool, so I want to keep it in good shape. So just may as well just sleeve it up, and of course I can always unsleeve it if I need to. It's always better to sleeve and not worry than to not sleeve and be like, oops. And in Rittenhouse products in general, you usually don't get that many inserts per box. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet in this video. Unfortunately, I don't have that much to talk about. 
but the scenes look cool. And I actually have been seeing actually on our own videos, like at home, uh, ads for Netflix with I guess the season two is coming out or has already come out recently. But for season two of Umbrella Academy, and I'm always like confused as to what's going on. Like there's like weird time travel and then saving the world and things like that. So it seems cool, but I just don't know what's quite going on. As I said, there's not that many inserts per box in the Rittenhouse product. But here is one here. Oh, there are two here. Right, interesting. Not sure if it was supposed to be like that or it just happened so, but we have two pieces of a puzzle. Oh, there are two checklist cards. Oh, okay. So there are 63 episode cards, checklist one, two, and three. So we, this is checklist number three card, two card here. The Heist at the Museum insert set does have seven cards in it. The poster cards, there are nine. And the quotable cards, there are 12. That's cool. So these are actually part of the base set. Because they make a puzzle, I'm actually going to put them there. That's kind of cool. And if we get the third piece, I'll move over this uh, museum insert. Poster card number one, TN1, Luther. All right, and perhaps checklist card number one has more inserts on it. That would make sense, because there's no TN on the back of that card. There we go, Luther, TN1. Slip that one up as well. Oh, there's more checklist cards in here. Oh, and we have a dual auto Sheila McCarthy and Cameron Britton on card. That one's a little hard, but that's cool. But nice, dual auto here, Sheila McCarthy and Cameron Britton. This is Agnes and Hazel in the Umbrella Academy. So that is cool, dual auto right off. Our first box opening on the channel. That is cool. I like that they're both on card as well. So let me definitely get that one sleeved up. Nice. And these look like the two same pieces of the poster, so I'll just put them there. Let's keep going. So we are looking for one more hit, like I said. Could be another autograph, could be a sketch card. Insert. Vanya, PC7. Okay, so that's poster card 7. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to sleeve it up. It is a little acetate card. I want to make sure it doesn't get scratched. And then that's what it looks like. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I do like that. We have another auto here, Emily Pigford. So that is our second hit of the box, on card auto, as usual with Rittenhouse, as Helen. This limited edition autograph card has been personally signed by Emily Pigford as Helen. Very cool. 
bottle number two. Just lift that one up. Very cool. So a single auto and one dual auto. It's not bad for first opening on the channel. Now, essentially, we're just hunting some more inserts. There is the first piece of that poster or puzzle. It does make like a little poster, but the checklist cards. Oh, okay, so there's the then and now inserts, which is what this one is here with Luther, and then relic and prop cards. Ooh, that's cool. Visit scifihobby.com for a complete list and insertion ratios. Here's what this whole piece looks like. Cool. Now that we've seen the checklist, put that back in the file. And it looks like there's just four packs remaining in this box. And then we can take a look at our cool inserts and autos for this box right here. It's the quotable card. One grows used to things, even if sometimes one shouldn't. Quotable number 12. Quote from Pongo, Monkey Man. Last pack here in this box. Just five base cards. Now, I am surprised that we got four inserts. I feel like that is quite actually a lot for a Rittenhouse product, but I'm definitely not complaining. Like I said, it could have to do with there only being 3,000 boxes of this out there. But definitely some really cool looking ones. It does seem like, you know, at first I saw the packaging, it was like, I can't see. I mean, I know there's two hits per box, but it didn't say anywhere. I thought maybe, I don't know if that was a stylistic choice or if it was a bit rushed, but it does seem like they really did take their time with the set. The cards look nice on the front and the back. Text about the episodes. And these inserts look really cool. So I definitely think this will be a nice product. But Super Ordinary Poster Insert number 7. Museum Heist Insert. Very cool. The Then and Now number 1. And Quotable 12 Pogo. Those are the four inserts we got in this box. And for autographs, we did get one single auto of Emily Pigford on card, as expected with Rittenhouse products. That's one of the cool things about Rittenhouse is they do, I don't know that I've ever seen a sticker auto on a Rittenhouse unless it's, um, I've seen uh, cut autos, I haven't seen sticker autos I don't think on Rittenhouse. And we also did get one dual auto, Sheila McCarthy and Cameron Britton as Agnes and Hazel. That is cool. And then of course stack of bays. Perhaps, um, it did say, how much was the the base set. The base set was 63 cards, I believe. So it should be possible in theory to make, depending on uh, collation, maybe to make a base set per box. So we'll see about that. But like I said, if I have time, I will try and get these listed today. If not, we'll be next week. Uh, if, we make, if we can make a base set, I'll make a base set list. All the extras is a drop down. The inserts will be individual because we just got one and then these autos will be up by themselves as well. So, like I said, unfortunately I'm not too familiar with the characters of the show to be able to speak on these autos, but they do look really nice. I like that they're on card, and a dual auto is always cool. So that's nice. The inserts are very beautiful. I like the way the base set looks. Like I said, I was a little worried when I first saw the box, thought the box was a little plain. You know, like I said, it could just be to fit the theme of the show, but it doesn't even say how many hits are on the box. 
but definitely really nice product within. That'll do it for me for this video. We do have another box of Umbrella Academy coming up next, an opening for Brian S. from New Jersey. So if you want to see some more Umbrella, make sure to hang out and stay tuned for that video coming up next. Otherwise, we do have some more coming up this weekend. Every Saturday night, we do have live breaks starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern, and we have a couple more boxes there as well, as well as some uh, Museum Collection, Goodwin, Elite Football, you know, some of the newer products, people. And, you know, there's still more time to sign up for personal breaks if you're interested in that. We just have a small queue already. I'm excited. I'm excited especially for that museum collection. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any comments for me, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And, of course, as always, i got to mention it. If you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you. So please consider hitting that subscribe button if you have not already. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!